Oh, I mean, I want the ghost ride the whip. When Lamar Vaughns isn't working, you'll find him on Facebook playing games under his screen name, Mr. 80s Baby. If your day was bad, talk to me about it. I'll make you laugh. But three weeks ago, I'm already sick. he was I getting very it. sick. My head don't feel that good. He's one of more than 50 staff members at the Denton State Supported Living Center to contract COVID-19. I'm just happy to be alive. I didn't think I was going to make it at one point. At last count, 54 residents have tested positive. It's spread extremely fast. It's the biggest outbreak in North Texas so far. The Living Center houses about 400 intellectually disabled and medically fragile residents. It employs more than a thousand people. I think state school figured that it wasn't going to come to state school. On March 21st, officials announced four residents had tested positive. Lamar began feeling sick a few days later. He thinks he caught the virus from a co-worker. I couldn't walk. Uh, it felt like I weighed like 900 pounds. While Lamar's uh, been recovering at home, the Living Center has been dealing with the fallout. Two employees we spoke with say they quit after being ordered to take care of patients with COVID-19. Both claimed either they or a relative had weak immune systems putting them at risk if they caught the virus. He said, is it I go there or resign? Bacola Amadou chose to resign. I am diabetic and uh, I once had clot in my lungs and as a result, I'm at high risk. WFA also obtained an internal email stating that employees who refused a work assignment would be disciplined. I get messages from numerous people. We're scared. Um, we don't know what to do. A spokeswoman for the Living Center told us it's our policy to provide reasonable accommodations to any staff who have demonstrated underlying health conditions that could put them at risk of COVID-19 infection. That includes reassigning them, if necessary, to areas where there is not risk of exposure. A lot of staff are worried. They don't want to catch it, don't want to take it home uh, to their uh, loved ones. How concerned are you about going back to work? Uh, very concerned. If they ask you to go work with the uh, individuals that have tested positive, would you do that? Uh, yes, I would do that. I would wear my uh, mask, gloves. I mean, take my safety procedures. I mean... I'm immune to it. That's what my doctor says. So, I mean, I'm, I'm there to help. Lamar doesn't blame the state school's management for the outbreak. Truly, you really can't prepare for that because the world couldn't even prepare for it. So I couldn't really expect state school to prepare for every precaution when the world can even prepare for it. But we, I think state school did its best, the best that they, that they could do. He's planning to return to his job of 13 years on Monday. I'm getting, getting better day by day. To care for some of society's most vulnerable people. It's just regular people like us with bigger issues. In Denton, I'm Tanya Iser.